A blockbuster deal may be in the works in the health insurance industry. The Wall Street Journal is reporting that Cigna and Humana are in talks about combining to create one of the biggest integrated health care firms. ABC's Elizabeth Schultz is tracking it all from here in our nation's capital and joins me now. So, Elizabeth, this is a big deal, right? So we've reached out, I guess, to both Humana and Cigna on this deal, but neither has responded to our requests for comment. But what, what do we know about where this stands right now? Right, and Terry, this is what Wall Street likes to call a mega merger. If this deal is finalized, it would be a combination of two of the nation's biggest health insurers. So what the Wall Street Journal is reporting is that Humana and Cigna are in talks to merge possibly by the end of this year. So this is still just a report. The companies, as you note, have not commented on this at this point. But these are big companies. We're talking about insurers that provide access to health care for millions of Americans. If they combined, their market value would be about $140 billion. So this could position them to compete with Ultimately, the biggest player in the market, which is United Healthcare, that has a market value of about $500 billion. So the companies could be trying to position themselves to be up there with those, that other major giant in this space, Terry. So that's the interest for the companies. How about the consumer? You know, regulators uh, for a long time didn't really enforce uh, antitrust laws and, and weren't as concerned about concentration of power, corporate power in markets. That's changed in the Biden administration. Uh, what are the uphill challenges facing this one with the regulators, and how do you read that? process. No doubt about that, Terry. This would attract a lot of scrutiny from regulators. We have seen this crackdown from an antitrust perspective from the Biden administration, a lot of it coming from the Federal Trade Commission. Lena Khan, who is the head of that, or of that agency, has already signaled that they would be really not open to any further consolidation when it comes to health care. And a lot of this comes down to the fact from the Biden administration that they say consolidation in these industries has raised prices for consumers. They say that a lot of companies over decades of really, frankly, lax antitrust laws meant the companies got big really fast and that that ended up resulting in less competition in the marketplace. And that means higher prices that consumers end up paying. So it is worth noting that even before Lena Khan came into office, even before the Biden administration kind of took this tougher approach on antitrust, uh, judges had struck down attempts by both of these companies, Cigna and Humana, to, to acquire competitors, citing antitrust concerns and the fact that it could make competition uh, lower and raise prices for consumers, Terry. So the deal's a long way from done. Yeah. Uh, Elizabeth Schulze, thanks very much for that. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.